but we are uh, continuing to follow this breaking news situation at Tweed Airport. Um, we do know that this was a Connecticut Flight Academy plane. This is some new information that we've right. just learned within the last uh, 20 minutes or so. Yeah, this is a training flight that happened. There were two people on board that plane. One of them died, the uh, second at Yano Haven Hospital. Now we've got news at Scott McDonald live with the very latest from our New Haven newsroom. Scott. Yeah, you said it, Keith and Laura. This was a training flight, and officials said this was nothing out of the ordinary. The process now for investigators, and this will include the FAA and NTSB, will be trying to determine what led up to this plane crash. We already know that the plane had just taken off, reported a mayday, then turned around and fell from the sky. Now, the path to get to that aircraft and the crash scene, that involves at least two feet of water, ice and tall grass. We also know that this is a tidal area, so it'll go up and down with the tide. Uh, it was tough to immediately locate that plane due to the fact that that grass is so high, but they did find it. And then uh, officials, first responders moved in. It actually took four to six firefighters to get those victims, those two male passengers, out into the hospital. And unfortunately, we know one of those passengers died, the other in critical condition. A neighbor of the airport actually called this into 911. Just to recap here, uh, saw that plane nosedive into the marsh, actually offered up a tractor uh, to go in and assist. We also know that a gator was uh, attempted to use, a gator, sort of a heavy duty type ATV. They tried to get to the plane that way, but it was just too wet uh, and it became bogged down. So the firefighters just going in on foot, thigh high mud and muck to bring those passengers out. Really uh, an amazing story there. So, uh, again, to recap, FAA, NTSB, they'll be arriving on the scene. The NTSB will photograph this plane, try to figure out exactly what happened. We'll continue to update you uh, throughout the day, but um, a tough situation all around okay. and also an amazing effort from first responders today. Keith and Laura, back to you. All right, Scott McDonald in our newsroom. News H Jason. Uh, Newton has been out near that crash site all morning over in East Haven. That's right. He's been talking to witnesses this morning who actually saw this go down. We'll go out to him live now. Jason, what can you tell us? So, Laura and Keith, we, uh, we just watched the end of the press conference. It wrapped up, and now officials are actually starting to pack up, and they're leaving as well. But um, it's on, we're on Co Avenue right now. That's where the staging ground was. That's where they had all the media set up. That's where they were disseminating all their confirmed information. But we're still on the edge of this 500 or so acre uh, wetland area, marshy area around the airport. So we just wanted to give you a, a sense of what the first responders were dealing with. Uh, we heard Scott McDonald there talking about the high grass. You can see the brush there. That, that's tall. That's much taller than me. I'm about a six foot tall man. That brush is about eight feet tall, higher in some locations. So what we're told, um, we heard during the press conference that uh, first responders were 10 feet away from the crash scene, but they still could not see the actual plane. And that's why it's very thick brush back there. Uh, there was a lot of snow melt over the last few days, so it's also uh, muddy, mucky conditions as well with very damp ground. That's why they were trying to use the Gator, other 4x4 uh, four four vehicles, trying to get into that area to, to access the crash site. So it was just a, a tough go today for the first responders. Uh, unfortunately, one person did die in this plane crash, uh, one other at the hospital. So the the media, they just wrapped up with their media staging area as far as um, all the officials from first responders from the mayor's office here in New Haven, the, uh, I mean, East Haven, the East Haven Fire Department, East Haven Police Department. Um, the latest information is that we are waiting on some pictures from the scene. I just talked to the uh, fire chief here in East Haven, and he said that they do have some pictures from the crash site when they finally um, made access and, and got out there to those two people who were, who were stranded. Um, we're waiting on those pictures. They just first have to filter them and make sure that there's stuff that they can disseminate and things that we can show, things that we cannot show they're going to take out. So once we get those pictures, we'll be sure to update our website with the latest information. But for right now, that is the latest information from out here on the scene in East Haven. Jason Newton, News 8. All right, Jason. Back to you in the studio. Thank you for that update. Again, here's what we know about this deadly plane crash at Tweed at New Haven Airport. One person has died. Another is in critical condition right now. That person is at Yale New Haven Hospital. Neither has been identified. And that plane belongs to the Connecticut Flight Academy. It was on a training flight at the time. This is a, a picture of the crash scene. You can see in this shot the plane, I think we can put it up, ripped apart and mangled. 
The mayor of East Haven says, apparently we don't have that shot, says it took about 15 minutes for emergency crews to even locate that plane. It was uh, in a very marshy area near the airport. The National Transportation Safety Board will send an investigator to that scene. The Federal Aviation Authority also investigating. Here's a look mm, at that have. plane. That is uh, what this looked like right after the crash. And you can see that tall grass and uh, the challenges involved in even getting out there, never mind finding it to begin with. Right. Absolutely. And we will have uh, continuing coverage throughout the day on our News 8 app, and we will send you any breaking news updates through our push alerts. We will also be posting updates to our social media pages, so mm -hmm. make sure to follow News 8 on Facebook and Twitter. And we have final word on the weather with Gil. Yeah, the rain is going to be ending down in southwestern Connecticut, improving conditions this afternoon. Temperatures getting into the 50s, still looking at a very warm day coming up tomorrow, mm -hmm. getting into the 60s. Uh, if we get any more information about any impact with weather, of course, Fred will have uh, much more coming up starting at 5 tonight. But overall, uh, it looked at that time like the weather was quiet, nothing more than 8 miles per hour of wind, which is certainly manageable. No fog in the area, the visibility unrestricted. So uh, we'll have to see what the investigators do look into. But the weather, as always, will certainly be a big part of the investigation. Absolutely. There. And again, just to recap, our weather will be quiet for the rest of today. That rain in southwestern Connecticut's on the way out. Still looking at unbelievable warmth. 60s tomorrow, and uh, we may hold that warmth right through Saturday. Heavy rain late Saturday, and then drying out for Sunday. That's when the whole pattern changes a little bit cooler. All right, Gil, All thank right, you. Gil, thank Great you. work by the both of you and everyone here today. All right, thank absolutely. Sad situation. Our News 8 crews will be on the scene throughout this afternoon out in East Haven. Darren Kramer and Ann Craig will be here with the very latest at 5, letting you know what has happened over the next few hours. Thanks for joining our breaking coverage this morning. Have a great day.